In this lecture, we will discuss about what is non-destructive testing and why to learn it. The learning objectives of this course is to compare destructive and non-destructive testing methods, limitations of destructive testing methods, enlist in details of various non-destructive testing methods, compare and contrast applicability and the capability of various various industry and it methods. Before starting non-destructive testings, let me ask you a question why materials are to be tested. In general, we test materials to determine and evaluate the various properties of a material both qualitatively and quantitatively. To detect and evaluate the surface or subsurface defects in raw materials or processed parts to check chemical compositions to determine suitability of a material for a particular application to predict the strength and the serviceability of the material okay so we can divide these material testings into two parts one is destructive testings and the second is non destructive testings before starting non destructive testings let's talk about what is destructive testing destructive testing is a form of object analysis that involves applying a test breakdown a particular material to determine its physical properties mechanical properties such as strength toughness flexibility and hardness it means if you are testing a particular specimen or part you cannot use parts of the specimen again and again because it will be destroyed while testing you can see here when you do tension test compression test shearing test bending test buckling test etc we use certain specimen and we break it down to know the properties of the material so that is destructive in nature automobile crash test is a well known example of destructive testing when you do the actual testing the material will be damaged and the components can usually no longer be used now let's talk about non destructive testings here in this diagram you can see in the pipeline inspection engineer is inspecting the pipeline while pipeline is in working condition it means he is not destroying the parts or a component while inspecting that is the nature of non destructive testing here i have given few different definitions for you to getting better understanding about non destructive testings so for your better understanding the name itself saying it all non destructive testing means testing a material without destroying it non destructive testing is the process of inspecting testing or evaluating materials components or assemblies for discontinuities or differences without destroying serviceability will remain same before and after the inspection it means you can again use the parts after the inspection it's not like destructive testing where you can not use the part again after the testing non destructive testing is a branch of engineering concerned with all methods of detecting and evaluating flaws in materials it means you can detect each and everything by various types of ndt methods here you can see in diagram that engineer is performing ndt testing sometimes people called these methods non destructive testing sometimes it's called non destructive inspection and sometimes it's called non destructive evaluation it is a highly valuable technique that can save both money and time in product evaluation and troubleshooting non destructive testings has been using in various industries like mechanical civil chemical biomedical aerospace automobiles and many more in other words we can describe the ndt methods as it evolves inspection and analysis of machinery or components without affecting the operation or the properties of object is opposed to a tensile test or shearing test or other destructive test let's take few example how we perform non destructive testing in our day to day life 
it's very interesting when you go to the market to select fruit or vegetables what do you do think about it when you go to the market to select fruit or vegetables what do you do how do you make your choice if you pay enough attention you would find that you look all the fruits vegetables whatever you want to buy and based on color freshness you decide what to buy or what not this is the example of visual testing if your car is making a new strange noise what do you do do you ever glance at your car tires to see if they are soaked so you can relate these examples to the non destructive testings here you are not destroying anything but you are inspecting those things here we have discussed so many things about what is non destructive testings now next question comes in our mind why i should learn it and what can we do if i learn ndt testings so generally non destructive testings are used for finding out flaw detection and evaluation leak detection in components for location determination and orientation of defect for dimensional measurements for structure and microstructure characterization for estimation of mechanical properties for materials sorting and chemical composition for assistance in product development for improved and control manufacturing processes so there are lots of reasons why one should know about these techniques these techniques are very important for getting a job as it has a wide area of applications so this course will cover following ndt techniques like visual testing liquid penetrant testing magnetic particle testing ultrasonic testing radiography testing eddy current testing acoustic emission testing leak testing etc so from the next lecture we will start our ndt journey from visual testing thank you